What's up? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Can I have none of my candy over there? What's up, you guys? You see, I got my homegirl with me. We, in a, we, we on our way to the post office to ship out some wigs. Nice outside. It's 80 degrees today. Yes. I know you're like, it's 80 degrees, bitch. It's hot. Not out here. Not out here. Okay. But I have my, my girl with me right here. Say hey. Say hi, Poops. Poops needs a haircut. But Poops went yesterday and got a rabies shot. She got her shot yesterday. Poopsie Poops. Poopsie Poops. And she is with mommy chilling. She always with mommy chilling. We always, we chill. Don't we chill? Got this sun in your face. All right, say hi. Yep, she has, that's right. She has a dog bed in here. She rides shotgun, okay? Pancake ride shotgun. Don't you? Well, when ain't nobody else in the car. And sometimes she rides shotgun when somebody else is in the car. Like, shotgun. Ain't you no, know, tell them, ain't you no. Know. Picture me folded, what? never that boy. Can't lead a kill without the drugs and the cap. No. If I wouldn't see neck, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them, hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed her tears and she wondering why. Yeah. Uptown Double H, man, it's be the five. What? MP in the cut, what? yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York, brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to change my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to a hundred. What the f is going on, Ray? How did you get on the phone? Because she has to call you. I'm here to call you because I knew you were lying. <laughs> she called you and said, Hey, I'm here to call you. Are you kidding? That was Anastasia? Hey, Anastasia, what the f is going on? You told me you were done with her. I'm not gonna do this on the phone. I'm sorry, but don't call me at work again. No, Dale. Are you gonna come by tonight? Are you gonna come no, up? No, 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 I'm not. It's done. Don't call me. No, Gail, we need to talk. Maria, Gail. he already disconnected the line, girl. He's not there anymore. Well, do y'all get these kind of things on your radio station? It'd be like somebody supposedly, supposedly calls in and they will have you spy on their girlfriend or boyfriend oh. to see if they cheat in. Okay, it goes down in the DM. It goes down, okay, with Dana Cortez and whoever else. So they be pretending like they be like, to me, it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of bullshit because these people like if this really happened to you you know how you could just tell by the person's tone that it's a it's it's not real like it, you can just tell like none of this shit that the person is saying is real just by their tone and the way that their voice sounds it just sounds so fake and made up and it don't even sound fake and made up but it's just the person who's responding and on the other line you can tell that it's definitely not real but i mean hey the one i do like is carmen i don't know how many states they play it but she'd be calling people up fucking with them she'd be like hi my name is carmen and i'm calling because i heard that you like it, it's like weird but it's so funny because these be like real people and they'll get mad and hang up on her and she will call them right back and a person will answer like if you just hung up on the phone, the person, and you they called you right, right back, why would you even answer? I'm, I'm back at home, went to the post office, okay? And um, so the post lady, I guess she must have never asked me, or I, maybe she forgot, I don't know. But she was like, hey, April, and I always talk to them at the post office. We friends. She done, This one, Lauren, she done came to my son's, my son Wuzzle's funeral. Like a couple of people from the post office did come to my son's funeral because I'm really cool with them. So anyway, she must have forgot because she was out for a while because she's a survivor of breast cancer. So like um, she was she was gone for a while because of COVID and stuff. And um, she must have didn't know, but, but I could have sworn I told her because she always asked how the family's doing. So she asked me today, how's the kids? And then she was like, how's your husband? I was like, my what? She was like, your husband. I was like, who? I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. What? 
She was like, oh, what? I said, girl, he been gone. I said, it's been a year since October 27th of 2020 when he left to go back to New York due to his mother passing and he never came back because his sister, because he wanted to be with his sister. She was like, oh, I didn't even know. She, I was like, yeah, girl, please. Like another customer came up to the other window, right? To, um, to her window because I wasn't at her window. I was at the lady right next to her, the other postal lady so now she free and so this black man come up and she was like well she's available point to me i said no i'm not no i'm not you do not want me because i just no you i'm not available and he wasn't bad looking but i'm not available don't be trying to hook me up with nobody uh, i'm good okay like i'm definitely not available i was like no you definitely don't want me like okay because he started smiling like no like no because stop cheesing over here okay yes like she was like how's your husband and then we all started laughing but like and then the guy was like oh i forgot while i was even here <laughs> well just please remember that i said i wasn't available straight up like but anyway i'm home i was gonna go get me something to eat but i just wanted to come home i'm gonna just drink me one of those protein milk now i'm gonna go in the house and um give me something to eat and i'm gonna try to sit down and relax for a little while because i'm really am in pain and um uh, my daughter Tati said that to me last night. You don't never sit down. You don't never sit still. And I don't. She's right. And me and Tinky, me and Tinky, he back there with his little seatbelt on back there. Say hello. Say good morning. Where you going? Oh my Y'all couldn't hear him. He is going to his horse therapy. Yes, we are driving to the horse farm today. Today is Tinky's first day at horse therapy, and he has 16 sessions of horse therapy. Now, I'm not really sure what it consists of. I do know that they will be teaching him how to care for the horses, groom them, and such. Anything with a horse is fun times, okay? So it's 30 minute sessions, 16 of them, and we have to drive to Scottsdale, Arizona which takes about 45 minutes to get there. So we will see you guys when we get there. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah. Look at that beautiful horse. Oh. Look at that pretty horse. I like, I like the dog. You, you like Gertie? I like her too. She's going far away. She's not going too far. She stay right here on the grounds. She the, she the dog. She, she take care of the horses too. Oh. Yes, she do. Okay. Come on. Here he comes. Is that him? Let's see. So here comes Tinky. And he is going to be riding Apache right here. So I'm so excited, but there he goes over there. No, I know, I know. Okay. I do YouTube, so I already know. Okay, I, you know, I'm gonna make today be a really great day, but some people really need to learn how to speak to others and speak to others with proper grammar and manners as well. So do not ever scream out to me in a rude manner. Make sure you're getting your kid and your kid only on video. Like, first of all, sweetheart, don't talk to me like that. Second of all, watch your tone. Third of all, learn how to speak proper, okay? Don't nobody want your other these other kids on my video, not at all. What's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? I'm
somebody else Do you think about me when you're feeling lonely by yourself? What's it gonna take for you to love, take for you to love me? What's it gonna take for you to show, take for you to show feels, yeah. I've been trying to take it slow, but my patience low Think it's time you let me Hi, sweetheart. I know. This is like so much fun to watch. Like I'm so happy for Tinky. Like I really am so happy for Tinky. He gets to ride the horse. I've never rode a horse before. I, I have petted one, but I have never rode a horse before. So I'm so happy for him. He spoke about this for like the past couple of weeks. Just so excited. He was on YouTube watching videos about how to approach horses how to talk to them, how to ride horses. So he has been like so prepared for this and I am so happy for him, like totally excited for him. You know, not every kid gets to ride horses. So I'm saying like, this is amazing for him. What kid would not want to come and learn about horses and have a great time on a horse, horseback riding lessons? Like they teaching him how to weave in through the green, like the little dots on the ground. Like, so they teaching him that, they teaching him how to tell the horse what to do, like walk on, which is cute. Like this, this is really, really nice. So I am so appreciative that he has this horse therapy. Like that's what, this is what life is all about. Like enjoying life and experiencing new things and trying just to make the best of it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy that he's able to come here and really be able to, you know, enjoy himself, whether it be 30 minutes or 15. This 30 minutes for a child is like everything. You know what I mean? So I'm really happy for him. Hey, Tinky. Hey, <laughs> there you go. So now we're going to go see the chickens. They have chickens that he can play with or pet, and they are really cute. So we're going to go see those. All he has to do is make sure that he um, closes the fence where they're at. So Look at this pretty one. She said they're nice. They're friends. This little white one. Yeah. yeah. Look, look at them. Oh, those are twins. They do, right? Have fun? Yeah. Ready to go? All right, let's go. So that was that was so nice for Tinky. Tinky said he had such a good time. Now we're on our way home. He got to play with chickens too. We're on our way home. So this is gonna be every Saturday for four months. Hi, tell them how you tell them about your time. Tell them, tell them about your experience. Tell them what you did. Oh, yeah, the chickens. I threw off the dog. Yeah, I used the chickens. Yeah, what else? And the horses. What was your experience like? How did it feel to be on the horse? Yeah. You had fun? Yeah. You had a good time? Yeah. Uh, are you excited still to go back? Yes. Yeah. Tell everybody to have a good weekend. Come on.